So that's the first one I designed and that's the new design. This one is made out of two halves that are glued together so there's a risk of it not being uh, watered and airtight. This one is printed in one piece because I've got some triangle shape in here that will close the roof really nicely. Um, why is this one better? Because if you got a stack of aquariums like that you can easily see uh, if the hole's clear and you can also easily uh, change uh, any kind of filtration you put in there uh, from the front of your aquarium considering this is the front that we're looking at. Um, also the tube is a slightly lower um, spot which makes the air water pressure from here to the outflow here a little higher when water comes in and that makes it flow even better. Okay, they both flow very well by the way, they're exactly the same height. Put some more water in. Of course you'll connect your tube that goes down to your sump or, or lower filter here and uh, from there you'll pump it back up to the, the top aquarium, you make this go to the second, to the bottom, etc. Well, it works very nicely. So this one was just a test, I'm not going to use it anymore. Um, the question was... Uh, Somebody asked me how do I prime it, well I'll show you, if it's empty. It's really simple to prime it, just put it under water and then you tumble it a couple of times and all the water, all the air should come out if you tumble it the right way, that is, with the openings to the top and then you lift it out straight up and you wait till the flow stops and then you can put it on your aquarium and it'll start flowing automatically because of the vacuum that stays intact in the overflow here overflow yeah. I'll upload the STL, you can find the STL uh, printer files uh, on Thingiverse, I'll put the link in the description.